Hey guys, how's it going? We're here in Del Mar, California with the Toyota team to talk about the 2023 Toyota Prius. I have senior product education planner Thomas Sunday with us to give us a full detail walk around and uh, just go over the whole thing. So that's Thomas. right. Right. Hello, everyone. We're here with the all new 2023 Prius. It's been completely redesigned with a focus on style and performance. So it's a one motion silhouette where we have lowered the roof by two inches. The car is, is one inch wider and one inch longer. We also feature on the, on the Limited here and the XLE 19 inch alloy wheels. The uh, LE grade will have a 17 inch uh, alloy wheel with the wheel cover. As you see, we've gotten rid of, on the side view, we've gotten rid of any unsightly lines and we've really simplified with a clean one motion flowing silhouette through the top with the lower side. We have electronic rear, we've raised the, the rear door handle up to the pillar, it's electronic, and we even have a little me mechanical button here to release it if oh, need be. I didn't be. even see that, yep. that's cool. So you can just open up the door via that if, in yeah. case of an emergency on that. Really fun fact about the vehicle, we have many Easter eggs hidden throughout the vehicle. One of my favorites here is the Prius name that is embedded in the, in the trim here on the rear trim on that side. And as we move around the back of the vehicle, You'll notice, gone is the three-piece glass where we had that, that middle pillar that was in here, the split glass, and it's just a single piece of glass now on the, on the rear. In addition to that, we have the, a single slim line rear tail light that carries out, and on the limited grade, this will light up here in the middle with red. And we also have our new Beyond Zero badging showing our commitment to carbon neutrality. Uh, it is the hybrid electric vehicle. Other vehicles will also feature that badge on our platforms, mm -hmm. uh, electrified platforms. Okay. I think I found another one. There's the Prius yep. on the heating element right here. Yep. There's, That's a nice there, touch. There's another one on the Prius on, on the element there. We also have, as we come around the backside here, there's also another Easter egg hidden inside the, uh, the fuel compartment on that side. Oh yeah? In, in terms of that there. And we What's also up? have, Go ahead. Let's open it up. Let's check it out. Okay, let See me open that. it up. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. And if you were to come in, it's it's hidden right here on the inside. There'll be a Prius logo. I don't know if we're picking it up. That's cool. Okay. In terms of... Another wonderful standard feature on the limited edition is the panoramic... Uh, uh, roof. It's a fixed piece of glass. It's not a, a sunroof, but it is a fixed piece of glass. And it even has a, an Easter egg hitting in it that would have to catch it right with the reflection, but it does say fixed glass panoramic roof. And there is there a solar panel roof option? It's not a, is it on this one? No, no, there is. We have announced for the uh, Prius Prime, which more that. information yeah. is coming. Okay. There is a solar roof option on the XLE Premium only on that particular vehicle. Got it. So that, we'll okay. hear more about that hopefully later More to on. come on that as gotcha. well. As well. A lot of people are picking up and noticing we have this little lever here on the, on the inside yeah, door what's, frame. What's that In about? terms of that, that's about side impact and helping flow the energy to keep the occupant safe. Mm, okay. And if there were unfortunate accident on the, yeah. si on the side impact. So one of the neat things about the 19 inch wheels is, is yes, we do have 19 inch wheels. We're getting less rolling resistance with the larger wheel. We've also kept it narrow to help with the fuel economy. Okay. The LE Prius, the, the LE grade, is actually our best fuel economy ever in a Prius, which is 57 combined MPG. Wow. And that's pretty impressive when we have 194 horsepower in that vehicle as well. Mm -hmm. So we're picking up additional horsepower, additional zero to 60 acceleration, uh, and we also have all wheel drive available on every grade. And this is a different all wheel drive system that's on the current generation. This is our electronic on-demand all wheel drive system that distributes torque based on driving conditions and it's not speed based. So you're okay. always gonna get torque on takeoff, you're gonna get torque on, on side, mm -hmm. and it uses throttle position yaw rate to make that determination okay. of when it's going to put in that ex uh, additional traction at what ne wheels need it. And the great thing is, is that when you're braking and you're going into regenerative braking, mm -hmm. you're not in all wheel drive at all. You're just, you're braking solid. And our rear motor, electric motor, it goes from seven horsepower on that particular one to 40 horsepower on this new generation for wow. that rear motor. That's a big bump. That's a big bump in, in performance. Yeah. The all wheel drive version will also have 196 horsepower with the same engine and, and Gen 5 hybrid system. Gotcha. And they're, they're just how it's tuned specifically with the additional engine and the flow of electricity. Yeah. So it's, everything's the same component well, it's wise. slightly bigger yeah. net horsepower number, but effectively. Exactly. Same powertrain exactly. similar. And then as we come into the front, you'll notice here, 
what we've done, and, and you'll experience when you sit in the vehicle, yeah. is we've lowered the, the, the hood line. We've kept this whole flow really low through here yeah. so that you have clean sight line over the steering wheel out to the road mm -hmm. and, can, and see uh, everything clearly without the need of a uh, heads up display in the vehicle. Got it. We have LED headlights. We even have another Easter egg that is hidden. You should be able to pick it up on that side, but it's up here. Okay. It's up here and on that side. It'll be, there's another oh, one with the, uh, yep, yeah. the, the Prius name in it. Is this called like the like hammerhead shark design? This is, is our that? hammerhead design. Okay. Because um, it looks really good. That's like beginning to show up on our electrified vehicles. It, it's in Crown. It's on BZ4X as yeah. well. And one of the things here with the sensors that you're seeing is on our Toyota safety sense, mm -hmm. you know, we have a, a front, we have a, a, a front alert system that for cross traffic alert on the front now, that cars, when you're sitting at an intersection, if a car's approaching you from the side, much like a rear uh, cross traffic alert, you'll mm -hmm. get a notification that, hey, you'll get an audible and a visual notification of cars approaching from your right or left when you're stopped. Is that, that's encompassing like Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, That's part right? of the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 right. system, which we cool. bumped up yeah. on the vehicle as well. So would you like to step inside? Yeah, let's let's hop inside and, and check out what, what's going on in okay. there. Okay, why, why don't you hop oh, in the driver's yeah. seat? Let's do that. First, I'd like to point out as we're sitting in the vehicle is that we have soft tech seating and the, the front seats are both heated and ventilated. Mm -hmm. Available is heated seats, optional on the limited grade for the rear. So you can have rear heated seats as well. Okay. A few quick things I'd like to point out as well is this is a 12.3 inch JBL premium audio system in the limited that we're, we're, we see here. It is standard. Um, it is our newest and most up-to-date system with wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. You also have Wi-Fi Connect and access to our other all our other connected services such as Safety Connect, Drive mm -hmm. Connect, um, and Service Connect as well. We do have a 10-year trial to uh, Safety Connect and Service Connect, and we have a one-year trial for other connected services as well. And then nice. the Wi-Fi trial would be through AT&T. Got it. But also, as you notice, as you're sitting here in the driver's seat, mm -hmm. as you notice the ergonomics of the vehicle, everything is close, easy to reach, limited hand and eye movement that yeah. you need to do anything from the front. Everything's, you know, comfortably placed. Mm -hmm. And that that's by design. And if you look out straight across, you can see the front um, the front monitor. Yeah, it sits it sits pretty high up. So it's like it's not like a traditional gauge clutch that's supposed to sit in between the like steering mm -hmm. wheel, like upper portion. It's it really is like supposed to sit above Yes. Well, at least I'm looking kind of the way I'm sitting and yeah. the steering wheel, I'm looking directly at it. So you don't really need a heads up display in that, in that no, sense. No, no. But yet you can still see over it because we've minimized the, the height of it yeah. to keep that clean view of the road and mm -hmm. be able to see everything and have everything um, at your fingertips as well. It's um, similar like the BZ4X, that kind of setup, right? This, correct. This screen? Correct. Yes, it is. It is similar, very similar to the BZ4X. We have a digital rear view mirror in this vehicle in the, in the limited grade only. It is okay. optional in the XLE mm -hmm. um, and just a standard uh, rear view mirror would be in place for the, uh, the LE grade. Got it. Um, we do have a slotted Qi wireless charger in the XLE and limited. Okay. So it's magnetic. So once you put your phone in, it stays in place and it does oh, wow. not slide around the vehicle. Which is also convenient because you have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Yeah, so you slot well. it in there. Mm -hmm. It's a nice spot. Usually you see them here, but I noticed this. Yes. It's a little. There's a little hidden cubby underneath. Yes. Which is a nice. Uh, and it literally says hashtag hidden compartment, which mm -hmm. is which is pretty funny. <laughs> you guys are like intentionally calling it out. Yes. Um, and we so. have six USB-C ports throughout the vehicle. So oh, wow. just USB-C. One, two. Six. Yep. Are there some in here? This is a data port. This is charging port. Okay. Yep. We got two more in here and we've yeah. got two in the back seat. Well. Six USB-Cs. Yes. Wow. Yes. More more USB-Cs than passengers. Absolutely. And two other unique features that we have on the vehicle is advanced park. This is where yeah, it'll, I did try it out. Yep. It'll help it's, you. Uh, parallel and perpendicular park mm -hmm. even help you potentially get out with the convenience of a press of a button yeah does this have the 360 surround view uh camera? panoramic monitor yeah. oh, yes it does right yes because yeah yeah um as unavailable we can just kind of yeah we have some things that are okay this, yeah, is, probably yeah, this is an early yeah this is a pre-production early early it, prototype yeah what i was going to say was it um it uses that 360 camera and it'll call out the parking spots and you can like pick depending on what's available Correct. how you want it to park I was really impressed when I tried it out. It was on the, the crown. Yes. And it was just, it, it shifts for you. Yes. 
it applies the brakes. I mean, yes, you yeah. got to be monitoring, vigilant all the time. Yeah, you course. should be monitoring it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But you like, take your hand off the wheel. The way it communicated all, all the steps of the process, like, mm. it really gave me a lot of comfort because, like, you know, you, you don't know how much a trusty system sometimes, but yes. it's nice that it's communicating through you every step of the way. So I was actually really impressed with the uh, advanced park. Absolutely. And another uh, feature that we have, it's not a connected feature, but it's called digital key. This okay. is where you can use your smartphone to start mm -hmm. and drive the vehicle in absence of your smart key. Now we do recommend that you do keep the smart key on you in case of something happening for that communication. But where mm. that really comes in handy is, for example, you want to give somebody access to your vehicle, a child, a relative, a friend, mm -hmm. at a restaurant or somewhere, and you don't want to walk out to the car, give them the key. You can, once you have the digital key set up, you can add them as a user and remove them as a user. Uh, okay. within the Toyota app, and they would be able to get in, access the car, start, drive the car. It works via a Bluetooth communication when you're in the proximity of the vehicle okay. versus a remote start connect from uh, remote on that side. So it's a separate service from that. Okay, interesting. Yep. And then, so we have drive mode selector here. We have like custom sport, normal, eco. Yes. Then our pure EV mode, similar to like what the previous had in the that's past. a low speed, yep. Your brake hold, parking brake, and then traction control. Yes. Nice. All, I like how it's all just like, it. You, know, you have your arm on the armrest. Yes. And then everything's very nice and easy to, to reach. Yeah, and that was one of the things that we did is the overall driver experience was a, ma a major focus of this vehicle. So mm -hmm. with the improved acceleration and handling, but not just that, it's the comfort. So the seat design has changed as well. The foam, the choice of the foam that's used in your seat bottom and mm -hmm. how it's positioned in there, how it actually uh, compresses was taken into account to have better weight dispersion and also reduce fatigue. The rear seat back also it has been the molding and how the three-dimensional molding of it as well mm -hmm. for increased blood flow to reduce fatigue and just is, more driver comfort. And is that across all the seats? Is just at that point the, the material that goes over it that's different depending on the trim level or is that padding you refer to specific to certain trims? It, it's all three trims. Okay. And the, really the big difference between the three trims is of uh, seat levels is one uh, base grade is going to be cloth. Okay. And then XLE is just going to be heated, but it, it will be soft text as we see here. Got it. Limited is going to be um, uh, soft text and heated and uh, ventilated as well. Okay. So at that point, so the, the like structure of the seat is similar. It's the features you get throughout the trims that varies. Correct. Got it. Got it. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Obviously yeah. the higher grades we get, the better it's going to be. Another little fun fact here is you see this blue LED light? Yeah. So if you have uh, proactive drive assist, which is a part of the Toyota Safety Sense system activated, mm -hmm. and you're sitting at a traffic light or sitting at a stop sign and the car in front of you takes off and you're at a dead stop and you're maybe you're on your phone, you're, oh, on your phone, on your you're looking phone. away, you're not paying attention to what's going on, <laughs> yeah. it'll give you, it'll give you just a quick little flash like, hey, maybe catch your attention to look up and mm -hmm. get your attention to look forward. And that's, that's kind nice. of a, a neat little feature. Um, that you see. So if you do have one and you see that, know that that's, that's how it works. Out. That's yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Trying to catch you uh, while you're, you know, slacking a little bit on the wheel, but no, that's nice. Yeah. All LED lighting interior, all okay. LED lighting exterior as well. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Thomas. I really appreciate you're it. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you for yeah, having me. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.